This is one of my favorite aircraft, the BAC TSR-2, the Tactical Strike and Reconnaissance 2. What you're going to need is you're going to need a single sheet of A4 typing paper. And you're not going to be cutting it or such. So what we're going to do is we're going to be folding it over and a half lengthwise. This is actually a variation of the jet fighter that we have done. So now I'm going to fold it over like so. And you notice there's about a centimeter and a half, I think about a centimeter and a half there. So just over half an inch for those using Imperial. I put a crease up here and then we have this line here is the crease. I'm going to fold on that point. I'm going to fold that all the way down there. So these two, these edges here should be flush. That crease should go right down the center there. I'm now going to do a preliminary base. I'm going to fold up, and the center line comes down here. I'm going to and there's a crease there and a crease there. I'm going to fold that onto the line to make a little preliminary base. Fold over, fold down. Just checking there on that side. I'm going to do the same on the other side. I'm going to make fold up. This crease down here is going to carry on down there. This should be symmetrical on this side here. And there's our extended preliminary base. I'm just going to put a crease in using a round barreled pin. We're then going to fold open this flap. And this should be symmetrical, it's not in this case, which is annoying. I'm going to fold this edge down to the center line. So I come here, I fold that down to the center line. And I'm going to do the same with this edge here. This edge I'm going to fold to the center line. Crease that and fold the flat back. I'm going to do the same on the other side. I'm going to just repeat. I'm going to open this flap out. I fold to the center. I fold this edge to the center. Then to make sure all the creases are nice and crisp, I take my pen again and I just press down Just make sure they're nice and razor sharp edges. Now I've got two things to make. We've got the wings to make, so I'm going to fold this out. I'm going to fold the wing and I'm going to fold it to a point here about six millimeters from the edge. So it's about a quarter of an inch. And I'm going to come up to here till it's about an inch and a half, nearly two inches. That's going to be one wing. I'll do the same on the other side. Try to make them even. That is my wings. I'm now going to do the tail. This tail is quite interesting. We're going to come up to this point here. We're going to fold. We're going to fold down here and we're going to leave about three millimeters there. So about an eighth of an inch. Now we should have a crease line down here to that point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this point here to the crease line and this come up to 
So I'm now going to have a crease line that comes up to that point there. So I'm going to fold that crease up like so. Just for tidiness, I'm now going to fold, undo it, and fold that tip up about 5mm, about 5th of an inch. Then I fold that back and I roll that up. So you'll now notice how it comes down, flat point there, comes back there. This is a more advanced aircraft than the standard jet fight. We do repeat on the side. I come down, I leave about 3 millimeters. Not a lot. I fold to the crease and to the tip. Go. I undo, I push the top five millimeters or so in, fold back and I roll that back up. So now that is your basic figure. We just flatten everything out to make sure it's going to work. Now comes the fun part what we call the tricky part. We're going to do the tail detail. The center crease comes to about here. Now I'm going to fold on a line from there up to about there so that this is now pretty much flush. This edge goes pretty much flush with that edge. And then down to there. It's important that we put a strong crease on there. And then what I'm going to do Bring this up. There is a flap here. I'm going to lift that flap up and I'm going to insert that edge. So I lift the flap, I push that in, and I make sure that strong crease. That's our tail plane. So we do the same on the other side. We take this edge parallel up to that edge. Well, thereabouts while making coming to a point there. So that comes in there. So again we have that edge coming in. We lift that leading edge, we insert that in there. Insert the leading edge, push that in there, push that back down, and crease. So looking from the top. That gives us two quite nice shapely tail fins. Now comes the hardest part of this entire escapade. Oops, sorry, forgot one bit. We're going to do the wings. These wings, we're going to find the wings up, so we're going to come in here. And we're going to fold the wing tip up, like so. So what I'm doing is I'm folding that flat back edge up until again that flap will come inside the wing. You'll notice on the edge there there's going to be about three or four millimeters, say a sixth of an inch. And I flat fold that neatly under there and I make that a really razor sharp edge. I repeat on the other side. I fold over Notice how I use the other wing as a guide. I lift up, put it in there, raise the sharp edge. I've had a bit of tail. My tail pop out here, I'm just putting this back, so it's just a repair job. Now to make it look like a TSR2. We're going to come along here and about less, about 8 mil, about 3 mil, a uh, third of an inch. We're going to follow along that line there, so that's about a third of an inch from there. So I'm going to follow along there. This needs to be a hard crease. And then I'm going to bring this wing side up. And then using symmetry, I'm going to fold this down. It's really important when you do this, 
that you put pressure in here and make that crease right there stable. And then I can come along here and you'll notice how along the edge, top edge, I'm lining it up. There we go. Hard crease here. Not quite symmetrical on the nose, but close enough. Now we've got this large extra bit hanging out the bottom. So I'm going to fold, open it up a bit. And roughly about there, again about a third of an inch. I'm going to come up here and fold that up. So it's going to be roughly flush with that edge there. Come up. fold. This gives me a nice crisp tail. Now it's looking a bit like a plesiosaurus. This is a good sign and to make this flyable all I'm going to do is these are the big major folds I'm going to open out there. I'm going to push this edge here and push the edge with the wings in it up. bring that nose forward. And that is going to be my TSR2. To make it fly well, I'm usually, because of the balance issues, you have to just put that tail back in again. To make it fly well, you have to put a, usually to make it go up, you'll put some bend there on the tail surface. Usually to make this one fly well you need a lot of bends because there's a lot of weight in the nose. If you want to get really flash on this, you bend the top over like that. Bend it the other way. And then sink fold that in there. And one of the most important design features on a TSR2, we bend the tip last third of an inch, 8mm, bend it that over like so. So that, my TSR2. For best effect on flying, you should pinch the nose slightly before you throw it. If you've ever seen a TSR2, you'll know that's pretty it's not bad. And yes, when you're throwing it, just hold it under there. Throw like you would throw at a dartboard. Not a lot of pressure. Not, 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 a, lot, not a lot of force. Good luck.